Okay, hi everyone, welcome to today's webinar. So we're gonna, before we get started, um, I'm gonna give about two more minutes to let more people join our session before we get started. Um, in the meantime, let me know if you can hear me and see me in the chat. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in about two more minutes. You can see more people coming in. So yeah, we'll start in about two more minutes. Thanks everyone. I forgot to start my recording earlier. Okay, no worries. So it shows strong recent bearish divergence versus the RSI. So that's the main point. Um, but lastly, you can see that we have a combination of the RSI breakout of the ascending trend line. Secondly, we have a bearish divergence, and lastly, we have price price itself breaking out of the ascending trend line. So that all gives us a really high probability that price is going to continue to break out of the ascending trend line and um, move in a downtrend. And you can see that's exactly what happened. Price broke and dropped strongly. Okay. Okay. Um, we have another example here. So you can see um we really have a lot of examples to go through today. But basically, um in this example, both prices are moving in a descending trend line. RSI is breaking out of the trend line. Um, okay, and then simultaneously, subsequently, we can see that there is a bullish divergence. Price is making a lower low. RSI is making a higher low. Okay, so that's a bullish divergence. Um, and currently, price is testing the descending resistance line, and we're wondering if it's going to break out of it. So with all three points, firstly, it's testing the line. Secondly, we have this RSI breakout of the descending trend line. And lastly, we have a bullish divergence as well. Okay, And that all shows a successful breakout of descending resistance line as forecasted by our RSI. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, all good. Now let's look at some GIFs that um, show us how a bullish divergence works. So if we take a look at the image first, price is moving in a descending trend line. Um, and we can see, so the first thing is we see price moving in a descending trend line. Second thing is we see um, we have a bullish divergence on our stochastic. So price is making a lower low and our stochastic is making a higher low. So that's the second thing. And lastly, we have our resistance level that the swing high, which is in line with our 100% Fibonacci projection. Okay, and then if you look at our GIF, you can see what happened after that was that price subsequently broke out of the ascending trend, descending trend channel um, and moved upwards, testing that resistance level very strongly and reacted off of it multiple times. If you're wondering what resistance level I'm talking about, I'm talking about the 1.56099 level.
Okay, now let's look at another example. Here is more straightforward. We just have price moving um, in a bullish divergence with price making a lower low and stochastic making a higher low. And subsequently, after that, we also see um, price moving upwards. And in fact, it actually moved above our Ichimoku cloud as well, which suggests a bullish signal. Okay, do you guys have any other questions? If not, let me just pull up my charts and we can look at a couple of charts together and see if we have any um, support or hidden support resistance levels or any divergences. Okay, if you guys have any charts you'd like me to go through, let me know in the chat as well. Okay, let's look at um look by looking at AUD maybe. Um, okay. Okay, so on our weekly time frame, prices are moving in this descending trend line. Okay, so again, what makes a valid trend line is if there are at least three touches, which you can see here, we do have that. Um, and then let's go in with, on a daily time frame to go in with our support and resistance levels. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can identify any trends first. But here we see prices kind of ranging. Okay. So firstly, I'm going to place my pivot over here. Okay. I'm going to label this as an intermediate resistance. Okay. And then my first resistance I'm just going to place it up here. Okay, and then for my first support, I'm going to place it at this double swing low. Mm. Okay, and I try and pull it back as far as I can without cutting too many bodies of candlesticks. Um, yeah. So, for example, over here, I would not place it here it's because of this area here that cuts a lot of candlesticks. So, if you're just cutting the wick, like we are doing here, that's perfectly fine. Okay, now let's go in with our Fibonacci levels. So I'm gonna go in with a retracement and I see my 61.8 line up with my first support. Um, next I'm going in with a projection. I don't think. Okay, 61.8 lines up nicely. Um, and over here, I think we have another extension. Yeah. So for extensions, we use 
six one two seven and one six one point eight, and we are using a Nike tick kind of shape. So if you can identify this kind of pattern, then you can use this one two seven and one six one point eight. Okay. Uh, again, these Fibonacci levels don't have to line up exactly in the level. As long as it's kind of near that level, that's good enough. Okay, so let me just highlight this level here because we have a confluence area, which is basically when two or more Fibonacci levels line up in the same area. Then you can see my 61.8 also lines up with that area. And my 50% actually as well. So I'm just going to keep those two. Okay. So here we're definitely going to expect to see some resistance in this area here. Now let's pull out our indicators. I like to start off with Ichimoku and ID because at one glance you can see exactly what these signals are. So for Ichimoku, price is currently moving in the cloud. So we can't um, really say much except that the trend is probably changing. So we see price was moving below the cloud before, which is a bearish signal. Now that it's moving within the cloud, we might see prices um, move in an upward momentum instead. But we can only confirm that once price has broken, moved above the cloud. So I'm going to remove that for now. And our MACD is also giving us a bullish signal. Okay, so that supports our analysis. Let's look at stochastic first. Okay, if we go back to my slides, uh, we typically look at 533 as our settings. So let's use that. Okay. Um, okay, let's see if we have any divergences. Over here, I can see that we do have a hidden support. So this is the tool that I was talking about earlier. Basically, okay, I'm going to hide my MACD first. Okay. So basically, when price is making a higher high, like we see here, mm, okay, just a second. I might change this back to 21. Okay, reason being my time frame is daily time frame. Um, here. So between these two points, right, price has made a lower low. Slightly lower low. Or rather, Price is making the price is moving in this first support. Okay. Whereas over here on our stochastic, we can see a very sharp difference. Price is definitely making a lower low. Okay, so this could suggest that price is going to continue to drop down here. Okay. 
So even though the default settings are normally 533, you can adjust it um, according to the time frame that you're using and according to like what works best for your chart and your trading strategy. Nothing is ever, you know, set in stone. It's really dependent on what charts you're using. So yeah, feel free to adjust it accordingly. I guess another example we can see see if we can find more divergences just from this chart alone um okay price is making a lower low here and here we, it's moving it's making a slightly higher low you can see immediately after this if we replay it Okay, you can see price proceeded to move in an uptrend after that. Okay, that's a pretty small example, but um, yeah. Okay. Any requests for any charts that you guys would like to see or any examples you want me to go through? Mm. Oh, we can take a look at Stochastic as well. Okay, so we're looking at stochastic now. Let's look at RSI. Uh, can I add more examples on the chart? You mean do more of these divergence examples? Identify more divergences? For example, over here, we have a hidden support. Okay, whereas on our price, it's making a lower low. Okay, and the tool that we're using is this, just the horizontal line. So it makes it really easy for you to identify whether it's a support or if it's a divergence. Okay, a very um simple one to identify is over here. Okay, so you can see price making a lower low. And our RSI making a higher low. Okay, you can see after that, price proceeded to... After this divergence, price proceeded to shoot upwards. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's on the RSI. Um, okay, another one here. Price making a lower low. Okay, and then RSI making a higher low. Okay. So then you see price also shot up after that. Okay, shall we look at another chart? OK, 
Okay, let's just focus on looking for divergences, I guess. Um, RSI, stochastic. Let's focus on RSI first. So on our RSI, you can see price moving in this support level. Okay, but then you can highlight these, the points that you're looking at as well to make things easier. And price is making a higher low, whereas here we have a hidden support. Okay, after that, you see price shoot up as well. Another example over here. Price making a higher high, higher low, sorry. And here, price is making a lower low. Okay, so this is a bearish divergence. Okay, um, hidden resistance. Now maybe we take a look at that. Over here, you have a hidden resistance level from between this point to this point here. Right, we can definitely see that price was making higher highs. Okay, so we also see subsequently price proceeded to drop. Reverse off of this resistance level. Okay. Okay, any other questions? Anything you guys want me to go through? Any charts you want me to take a look at? Um, okay, if not, then that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll stick around if you guys have any other questions. But if not, um, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys again next week. Thanks everyone. Bye. Have a great rest of your week. Thanks everyone. Yep, take a look at um euro dollar. Sure. Do you want to just take a look at the divergences or you want me to do a analysis? Yep, we can do both. Okay, so um on our daily time frame, we have this as our first resistance, and then my pivot. Right, and then lastly, my first support just here. Okay, um, yeah, so then I'm going in with a projection. Okay, my 61.8 lines up nicely. I'm going with 
retracement, my 50% lines up. Um, I think my retracement here also lines up. Okay. Um, so here we have Mm, not really. Okay, I think that's all the levels we have. So then we pull out our indicators. Ichimoku, MACD. Okay, price is moving within the cloud, so we can't use that. MACD is moving, ascending in a bullish signal, sorry. So if we look at stochastic, um... Here, price is kind of moving upwards, right? Making a higher low. Mm. Okay. Here, it's kind of... um, It's not really a support level. Kind of making a lower low here. Okay, you can see from the dotted line that it's not uh, horizontal, right? So it is slightly um, moving in a downtrend or rather making a lower low. Okay, so it is a bit bearish. So we might continue to see it move down. Okay, similarly for our resistance, here we have a hidden resistance level. Okay, and then we see price moving in, making a lower high. So that might actually be better than this. Yep. So this is a bearish divergence as well. Okay. Yep, no worries. Okay, um, yep, if there's nothing else, uh, that's all for today. Thanks, everyone. Bye.